Hello everyone, in this video I'll be reading and commentating on the Ask Reddit thread, What Instantly Ruins a Burger for You. I'm someone who loves burgers, so I just want to talk a little bit about burgers, and this thread got me hype. So, first comment, nothing kills a burger faster than a bad tomato. Agreed. I don't really like tomatoes, and this actually stems from making burgers when I used to work at McDonald's. They used to, I always used to be the person that had to throw the moldy tomatoes every time that I worked, and let's just say McDonald's has a lot of tomatoes and they get moldy pretty quickly. It is a gross, gross thing to see a bunch of moldy tomatoes. So yeah, nothing can kill a burger faster than a bad tomato. I agree. <laughs> um, got some damage from seeing all those tomatoes. Um, poor construction with flies at the other end, stick every thing together in a blob of sauce. Yeah. Kind of annoying when a burger isn't constructed very well and it just slides all over the place. I fully agree with that. I don't enjoy sauces on a burger. But to a point, if I end up having to hold a soggy mess, I'm not, mess, I'm not going to enjoy the burger nearly as much. Also, tall burgers and the two to go together make an awful experience. So where I'm from, there's a thing called burger love where they make some crazy burgers and everyone goes and tries them all out. And for some reason, some burgers like to throw on multiple sauces to try and make it unique and also end up making the burgers really tall. So I agree on both these points. Too tall that it hurts your jaw, but also sauce and stuff going everywhere is if a burger makes your hands like really messy, it's not as enjoyable. Watery old lettuce. One time I got a burger with a terrible lettuce and it tasted like it came out of a lake. A lake. From then on, I avoided the place saying they have fake lettuce. Yeah, bad lettuce is gross. Um, I like good crisp iceberg or romaine lettuce, but some places I'm like, why'd you even bother? What I once ordered a breakfast burger that was advertised among having other toppings, an egg. I imagined a fried egg or at least a scrambled egg patty of sorts. No, the monstrosity that came out had a quarter half boiled egg on it. What terrible self-respecting chef would serve that? <laughs> that sounds gross. What the heck? Um, when the patty slips out the other side, I agree on that one. That ruins a burger when you have to kind of <laughs> slide that patty back on. It's just gross and slimy. A wet, untoasted bun. I agree. I actually really like toasting my buns now. Um, that's something I do anytime I make a burger because it really makes a difference. If at least, like, I, I cook it on the, the pan, but also if you're barbecuing, it's easy enough to burn it or toast it. Just a little bit of toasting makes it so much better. People don't want to talk while I'm eating a burger. Agreed. I just want to chow down. Uh, next one. Being too big to fit in your mouth. Pointless. Might as well just throw it on all in a plate and call it deconstructed burger. Yeah, I much prefer a burger that's not going to make me unhinge my jaw. <laughs> if I can't bite it without the entire thing losing structural integrity. Related, giant patties suck. Multiple thin patties are the way to go if you want a meaty burger. Yeah, I agree. Multiple patties also allow for multiple pieces of cheese. That's true. Or you can sneak some different yeah, crispy flavor bits or anything that's, um, you know, flavorful in there. Excessive height, I think that's a very common one. It's not fun when the burgers are too tall. This one got gold when they cost $20. Agreed. Burgers, you know, aren't supposed to be like steak. And steak, I mean, steak prices are like 50 bucks now. Uh, <laughs> anywho, when the tomato that has a hard area in the middle, I guess, core, um, gross. Agreed. Tomatoes can ruin a burger easily. A bad tomato. Another tomato comment. It's a bone. Ugh. I regularly bite down on these in Camino. They keep coming the benefit of the doubt and try to get multiple times. Ugh, that's gross. Bone? I recently had a burger made by Gordon Ramsay, and the night before, a $30 burger at a fancy restaurant. Ramsay's reminded me of McDonald's. Two small pies that were easy to eat, but delicious. This burger was so hard to eat, I just remember thinking, I know this is quality, it's $30, but damn, it's falling apart. Gordon's Burger made me realize the difference between a fancy and quality food. A burger should always be easy to eat. Every bite and not fall apart, it should stay together. Agreed. Gordon Ramsay has an amazing video on cooking burgers, so if you're wanting to learn, he's the guy. <laughs> a dry bun or too much bun? Yeah, like, I agree. Um, kind of the opposite, like, if your bun's wet, but dry, too. There's so much stuff on there, you take a bite and it goes everywhere. Agreed, 100%. Warm lettuce? Unmelted cheese makes taking your first bite and everything is more and fresh, and then your teeth hit an ice block. Ew, that's gross. <laughs> If the bun is soggy, that means they either use way too much sauce or didn't let the patty rest enough. All around a bad side. True. Fibrous and hard tomatoes. Agreed. Going to read a couple more of these. 
can't fit my hand around it, not to mind my mouth. That's a common theme. Tall burgers, no. Overcomplication. That goes back to my point about the burger love event that I have here where all these burgers are just crazy. When I get a burger and it has 18 different toppings, it just makes me think they're trying to hide a subpar beef. A double patty smash burger with cheese and limited toppings is the way to go. Overly thick patty or one that has cheese or peppers or whatever stuffed into that. If I wanted a meatloaf, I'd ordered one. I agree. <laughs> like Thin patties seem to be the common theme around here, as Gordon Ramsay did with his burgers. It just works. Too thick of a burger, a crispy edge smash burger always hits. Yep, agreed. Bad mayonnaise. Pickles, when I ask for no pickles, agreed. I hate pickles. <laughs> Soggy lettuce. So, yeah, I agree with a lot of these. Um, what makes a burger great is the, you know, the bun is crisp. You got two small patties that aren't sliding everywhere. It's easy to fit in your mouth. It's got the toppings you want. I think that's what makes a burger great. So, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.